Hello and welcome back. The last few weeks, the end of July, start of August, I was uh, busy going to cross country camp with my daughter up in Mammoth Lakes and then I was starting the school year and I fell way behind on my, my YouTube watching. And one channel that I, I really fell behind on that's doing something wonderful is High Waisted Pantaloons, run by Liz, who many of you know. If you don't, you definitely should check out her channel. I will link to it below. She's been doing VEDA, uh, vlogging every day in August, because doing one VEDA a year is just not enough for her, apparently. And she's doing a great community building thing. And we're both very passionate about the notion that YouTube is great for building communities. And she's been asking a series of questions. And because I wasn't keeping up with things, I, I am way behind. And so I'm gonna try to take a chance and catch up here. Number one, she asked, what's stopping you from doing the things you want to do? I'm lucky, I'm so old that I get to do pretty much whatever I want. There are many things, of course, that I don't have time for, don't have the money for, but those things I like to think I'm working towards to, to try to accomplish eventually. I, I'm, you know, laying the groundwork, I'm saving towards them, or basically otherwise working towards them. And so I get to do what I want. There's not anything stopping me. When I want to do something, I get to do it. Number two, what shall I call you? Steve. Everybody calls me Steve that I can get to. Uh, even my students in class call me Steve. Um, some, a, a few call me Mr. Clark because they just can't get past the... There's a bee. <laughs> a few call me Mr. Clark because they can't get over the notion that they can't, that they could call their teacher Steve, but that's what I prefer to be called. It's not my first name. My first name is James. Steve is my middle name, but if it's good enough for James Paul McCartney and William Henry Green, it's good enough for me. August 3rd was Esther Day, and I'm not going to tell Liz I love her because it's one, it's not Esther Day anymore, and two, I was at VidCon, and I can tell you, everybody loves Liz. Everybody. August 4th, how was your day? My day is great. August 4th was great. All my days are great. August 5th, your statement of creative intent. That's a big question. And so I tie it together with my basic reason for being and the meaning of life. Uh, my statement of creative intent, I want to discover, understand, and if possible, enhance the connections between all things. August 6th, what are your Saturdays for? My Saturdays very widely, mostly probably just catching up on things I didn't do the rest of the week. Um, sometimes going camping or going to the beach or going running or going to a race or, uh, you know, something new and hopefully fun, usually with my kids, my family, um, but Saturdays very widely. A lot of times it's catching up on things. August 7th, can I not do a video on Sunday? Yes, you cannot do a video on Sunday. Liz, we should all be able to take Sundays off because we get behind even during Vedas. August 8th, where has your journey led you? Well, here to California, but more importantly to YouTube, to the internet, to the interwebs, and the weird conglomeration of friends and associates and community members that I now feel are part of my what I, what I think of as home. August 9th, how old are you really? I am 58, I make no bones about that. Everybody knows I am the world's 414th oldest nerd fighter, um, although only some know the story behind that. It's not really much of a story. Uh, but yeah, I'm 58, but I am adamant about insisting that at whatever age you are, you still carry all the younger ages inside of you. You know, there's the five and six year old that wants to come out sometimes and will if you watch enough Winnie the Pooh and My Little Pony and things. Uh, the same with the 10, 12 year olds, the 17, I am 25, I am 30, I am all those other ages. You carry those things within you and they're all likely to surface at any time, frequently inopportune moments, but they're there. August 10th, what are you proud of? To be honest, I, I have a hard trouble with this one because there's just enough Buddhist in me that I, pride is something I, I try to avoid as much as possible. I am too naturally arrogant and cocky and pride is dangerous for me. I have done bad things and made grave errors when I let myself go with pride. So I don't know that I, I let myself feel it. And I guess I'm, you know, proud of some things, um, you know, the Smudge Fellowship and this community and I teach a lot of kids and I hopefully do some of them good and I try to do right by my kids and my wife, but pride, I, I, I'm not comfortable with pride generally. August 11th, what do you not have time for? One of my problems in life is that I always feel like I'll find or make time for everything and so I frequently have too many irons in the fire. Uh, one in particular that I know I don't have time for to do as devote as much effort 
to as I would like to would be music. Somebody commented on one of my videos the other day, I needed more original music. I would love to produce more original music or even find more original music, but that takes a lot of time and I'm not efficient with, with music. I wish I was. August 12th, do you like getting dressed up? I almost never do. It's not something I'm passionate about, not something I enjoy and I hate the amount of money it takes to do so and too often I feel getting dressed up leads itself to ostentatiousness, dis, you know, displays of ostentatious, ostentatiousity, um, you know, conspicuous consumption that I'm not fond of. But I will admit, when I worked in the theater a lot 20 years ago, 30 years ago, I liked getting out dressed up for the theater, for theater events because those people really know how to do it well. But it's not bad if your clothes actually fit and that makes it much more enjoyable. Women, I don't understand what they do because their clothes are like torture devices, especially the shoes. Man, get rid of the high heels, ladies. They're bad for you. August 13th, do you have a favorite saying? Um, the kind of idioms that she was looking at, no. And I explained to her uh, in the comments that my dad used them too much, way over use of cliches. And so I try to avoid those. If there is a saying I try to live by, it is a phrase or an expression I coined in 1992 working on Bill Clinton's campaign and that is that cynicism derives from an unwillingness to accept responsibility. Uh, that's a, a, a motto of mine that I put a lot of stock in. August 14th, I think Liz took off. August 16th, what do you want to be when you grow up? Just what I am, whatever that is. What do you want to do when you grow up? All the things. August 16th, are there things you are not proud of? Man, you don't get to be 58 without having made some big mistakes that have occasionally caused some people pain. And there are too many things that I am not proud of. I'm not going to explain them now. <laughs> August 17th, what have you learned recently? Sadly, I've learned that it's a bigger challenge to get some students to think than I would like. They would be perfectly happy doing worksheet after worksheet. They don't want to be challenged to make decisions. They just want to be told what to do so that they can get it done and get on with their lives. I'd rather have them try to discover things on their own um, because they're going to have to be smarter than I am in life. So that's a bit of a challenge that I'm, I've learned that that challenge is bigger than I, I had hoped it was. I haven't learned necessarily the answer to that problem. August 18th, who's on your team? <sighs> so many people. Uh, so, so many people. Mostly what I've discovered is that you don't know how many people are on your team until you ask people for help because people help you that you would never expect and that will surprise you. It's great and I appreciate all of you. Number 19, who are you excited to see again? My mom. She's passed away. I hope that I see her again. Um, other than that, I would say maybe my friend Tom, my friend Scott, who uh, live far away and I don't get to see them often enough. Um, and of course, everybody that I see at VidCon every year. I'd love to see them more often outside of VidCon. Um, but yeah. Number 20, what matters to you? Life, discovery, connections, people, the long, taking a long-term view of things, um, making the planet a better place for the people in it and making the people better for the planet. I guess those are the most important things to me. That takes us up to August 20th, so there's still a couple days that I need to get caught up on, but that's probably already pretty long. Like I said, go check out Liz's channel if you don't follow her already. Uh, she's a marvelous human being and a great vlogger who's growing and developing. It's been fun to watch her over the last couple years. We've sort of evolved along together, audience size-wise and, and uh, vlogging-wise. So. She's always awesome. Don't you forget to be awesome until I talk to you again, which will be soon, hopefully.